In this episode, we'll take a look at the Profoto B1. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace, where you will learn innovative techniques on shooting a wide range of photography. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography. I'm Mark Wallace. Well today we're going to do something that's a little bit of a departure for me. I want to talk about one product that I think is amazing. And the reason for that is uh, I think this is something that is going to revolutionize the way that portrait photographers, location shooters, wedding photographers, all those kinds of people that need off-camera flash that's very powerful uh, on location, the way that they work. And the reason for that, this is a, uh, a mono light. It's the Profoto B1. It's 500 watt seconds. It's battery powered. It's got a little battery right here on the side that you can uh, add and remove. And it uses through the lens metering. In other words, you can now have full studio quality flash with all the power and all the benefits and all the light modifiers and everything without the use of a light meter. It's all automatic. You can use exposure compensation. You can set light ratios, everything from your camera and it automatically adjusts everything. That means that you can take this guy on location, shoot a wedding, shoot a portrait uh, session or whatever you need to do and you don't need to use a light meter, which is uh, totally a game changer, specifically for wedding shooters. And so I wanna to talk to you a little bit about um, how this is, how you can use this, and we're gonna go over just really quickly the features of this. Now, if you want all the features and the pricing and all that kind of stuff, make sure you uh, subscribe to Adorama TV. So in the product reviews, they're gonna uh, talk a little bit more about that. And at the Adorama Learning Center, there'll be more articles on uh, how this is used and, uh, and all that kind of stuff. But uh, basically, it's, it's so simple to use this light, um, I'm not sure it needs an entire episode, but we're going to do it anyway. So the way this works is on the back of this uh, head, there are some buttons here. And if you're familiar with the Profoto D1 in the studio, it works very similarly to that. Now to turn it on, you just push and hold test. This is powered up and now you're ready to go. That's pretty much all you have to do. You just turn it on, it's ready to go. You turn on your camera and you start shooting. Uh, but there's some other options for you. If you want to shoot in full manual mode, you can do that. If you want to use this uh, without the air remote. So this is the air remote. It's the TTL remote that you need to also purchase that you put on your camera. So you can also trigger this using a sync cable um, or uh, also the air remote. Now the nice thing is this has eight channels and it has uh, groupings. And so you can put this in group A, B, or C so you can set uh, lights in different groups to uh, control your key light, your hair light, your separation light, etc. And so all that's built in and you can control all that with this little sync button. It also has a modeling light. The nice thing about that is when I turn this on, I'll swivel it around. You can see that this has a modeling light that you can use in the studio or on location. And it's an LED modeling light. And so that's not going to drain the battery really rapidly. And so you've got a lot of use out of this battery that's on the side. And the nice thing is this thing right here, this battery just pops right on and off. You can see how much battery life it has by hitting this check button. And you can uh, have several of these. And so if you're a heavy duty shooter, you can just get a couple batteries and bring that out. Um, in my experience, I'm getting uh, about 200 full power shots out of this battery, but I'm rarely shooting at full power because this is 500 watt seconds. And that's about 10 speed lights all packed into this. So it's very, very powerful. Now to really understand how this works, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring out a model. I'm gonna set it up and shoot and show you how easy this is to use. And then you'll understand why this is a game changer. So we're gonna do that right now. Well, we've been joined by Alexis, and I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to use the Profoto B1 system. So let me walk you through what I've done. Over here on my camera, I have the Air Remote that's an Air TTL remote, and this allows me to control all the flashes remotely with my camera and enables the TTL system, the through-the-lens metering. I have my key light here. Now, the nice thing about these is all the light modifiers that you've come to know and love with the Profoto system are available to you. So I've thrown a beauty dish on here to soften the light, and I've set this in Group A, so I can uh, control A and B separately. Back here, um, I've set up a, a second light with no modifier at all. And this is just gonna help us blend Lex with the background a little bit. And this is set to group B, and I'll show you how this works. So what I'll do is I'm gonna zip over here to my camera. Now the first thing that I did shooting in an environment like this is I need to balance the ambient light with my flash. And normally you'd have to use metering and do all that kind of stuff. So all I did here is I'm shooting in full manual mode and I set my shutter speed at 200 because that's my sync speed. I can't go any faster than that. And then I pointed back at those trees right there and I just dialed in my aperture to F8 and that's gonna give me a nice balanced background. That's the ambient light. Lex is sitting in the shade though. And so let me show you what happens when we have no flash at all. So I've turned the flashes off and Lex, I'm gonna have you sort of smile there, beautiful. And I'm taking a picture here. 
And you can see she's totally underexposed, but the background is exposed correctly. And so we need to correct that and we need to add a flash. Now here's the beauty of this. All I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn on my system here. And what I've done is I only have group A on. So just the beauty dish, that's all I've done. So I've turned that on and I love being able to do that right from my camera and no metering, no metering at all. I've just turned it on and Lex look right at me, give me a smile, ah, oh, beautiful. I love that. And now we can look, look at that. Right out of the camera, I've got a nice balanced shot where the ambient light and the light from the flash just blend seamlessly. Now when I look at this, I think, hmm, this is, sort of looks like she's been cut and pasted pasted into the background in Photoshop. So I wanna do something there that sort of uh, blends those two things together, the ambient light with the light from my flash. And so one of my favorite tricks is to add a light from behind to sort of uh, make it look like some of that sunlight is streaming in. And so all I'll do here is I'm going to turn on that second light. So I go in here to my, uh, my Air Remote TTL, I hit Group B and then turn it on. And that's all I have to do. And now Lex, give me another smile, I love that. So now we're out there, and now look, now we have that just little edge of light on her shoulder and her hair, everything blends together so nicely, and that's all there is to it. Now if I wanna do some different things, if I want a little bit more kick out of the key light, I can do that, I can go in here, I can hit group A, I can turn the energy up just a little bit and get a little bit more punch. I'm gonna do it a lot so you can sort of see how this works. I'm gonna sort of overexpose quite a bit. So Lex, look right at me, excellent. So I've just punched a lot more light and I sort of like the results of that. So it looks pretty good. And then what I can do is I can start playing with that. If I wanna change all the lights all at once, all I have to do is use my flash exposure compensation on my camera. So I'll hit that. And I'm gonna take both of them up by uh, two stops. So everything's gonna be overexposed, but just for fun, we'll do this. I'm gonna blind you. All right, I just, just blam. You can see that there's just way too much light, but you can see how that works. Or if I just want a little touch of light, I'm gonna take this to about one stop under what's correct. And so this will just be a kiss of light. There we go, beautiful. And you can see that, yeah, she's a little bit underexposed. So I'm gonna go back up to about uh, three, uh, uh, two thirds of a stop. And I'll start shooting here. And you can see that this is great. We're gonna do one more shot, a little bit smile. I think I got you half blinking. There you go. And now everything is working great. And you can see that it's easy to uh, manipulate your flashes right from your camera. Everything's ready to go. And all the stuff that you've known and loved from your speed lights works exactly the same with the new Profoto B1 system. And so I love it. I'm gonna take a couple more pictures and then we'll wrap things up. Thanks so much, Alexis. That was a lot of fun shooting the pictures. The thing I love about these is that you can do exactly what we just did. You turn them on and you just start shooting right out of the gate. And so there, you don't have to use a light meter and they're 500 watt seconds, which means that you can overpower the sun, use these in bright sunlight in almost any environment that you need to. And you have full control using either manual mode or the point is using TTL. And so that's the beauty of these. Uh, these are gonna be shipping in December. And for all the prices and all the links to these products, just look right underneath here if you're watching on YouTube and you can see links to the products. And you can also read articles at the Adorama Learning Center. And if you want more information about these, the tech specs and uh, the flash durations and all that kind of stuff, that's going to be coming soon with our product reviews right here on Adorama TV. And I know you don't want to miss that. So why don't you subscribe to Adorama TV so you don't miss a single thing. Thanks again, Alexis, for being here today. And thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time. Well, thank you so much, Alexis. That was a lot of fun shooting those shots. Now, the, the, blah. Subscribe. <laughs> Are you ready now? Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, okay. okay. Well, th well, thanks so much, Alexis. That was a bunch of fun shooting those pictures. <laughs> it was your fun. Well, thank <laughs> Stop it. Well, thank can't do it. Stop. Mm. Mm. Thank you. That was good. My pleasure. You bet. Happy to help. Nice for you to say. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> thanks. That was good. See ya. <laughs> See ya. I'm out. Want to get the most out of your Adorama photography equipment? 
Visit our Learning Center where you can read popular articles, how-to tips, buying guides, and product reviews.